Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. I'm armed with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. I'm using that time to attempt to visit every civil parish in England. You're watching the East Riding of Yorkshire series. Together with the unparished city of Hull, it forms the county of the same name. There's 172 parishes here. Which one are we in today? Welcome back to the East Riding of Yorkshire once again, guys. And we're starting today outside this. Now we noticed this on the way back from Sprotley last night. Hello, Nikki, you're in this episode as well. This is going to be a brand new crematorium called Lely Fields Crematorium. And it's gonna be completed in early 2023. It's gonna be a, a new place for you to uh, come and- what Commemorate you say? loved ones. Commemorate loved ones, mm -hmm. yes. And uh, there's not many of these being built, are there? No, it's only the second one that I know of, although I could be wrong, it's happened before. There was one down in Lincolnshire. Which we've seen, by the way, Lee seen. Fields Crematorium, Gainsborough. Yeah. Uh, Lee, actually. Yeah, Lee. so yeah, this is just something, uh, something new and it's, it, it's certainly an unusual thing to see. It is, it is. Now, the interesting thing about this too, is it doesn't fall within today's parish. This is actually part of Preston, uh, but I've included it here because of the name. It's Lellyfields Crematorium, which effectively belongs therefore to Lely, which is in the parish of Elstromwick. Here's my disclaimer for people who may be watching me for the first time. I say things as I would in my native accent and dialect. As a result, I may not pronounce things in the same way as the locals do. Remember, I'm a visitor. It's impossible to know everything. Leave me a comment, spin me a like and bash that subscribe button. Let's get to today's parish video. Today we're in Elstromwick, another village in the Holderness area of the East Riding of Yorkshire. This one is very, very rural and it's situated approximately three and a half miles northeast of the town of Hedden. Elstromwick is an Anglian name, meaning Elfston's Dairy Farm. It's had various spellings, including Astenowick in 1086 and later Elston Wyke or Elstern Wick, suggesting a Scandinavian modification of the name Elfston. In 1823, records show it still being named Elstonwick. The village at the time was in the parish of Humbleton and in the Wapentake of Holderness. Occupations included six farmers, and farming is still very much the dominant industry out here. The civil parish is formed by the villages of Elstromwick and Lely, together with the hamlet of Danthorpe. It hasn't got a lot when it comes to amenities. There are no shops in any of the three settlements. There is a pub in Lely, and Elstromwick used to have one as well called the Crown and Anchor, but that was closed in 2015. It doesn't have many, if any, historical figures. The only one I could find of note out here was Mary Beale, a well-known Holderness local who was married to the founder of Beale Homes. What it does have though is a lovely peaceful atmosphere, plenty of fields and fresh air and a few notable buildings including an old windmill. With a population of just under 300 spread over a wide area, Elstromwick is one of the most rural corners of the East Riding. Our journey around the parish of Elstromwick begins in Lely, in the far west of the boundaries. Lely has this war memorial area. This is a low brick wall with an angled wing on each side. All 23 names listed on the two panels, with World War I on the left and World War II on the right, served and returned. Far too small to sustain a shop or a post office, Lely does retain a standalone post box, which is here too. We were quite interested in this sign. This is a relic from a decades-old campaign with the tagline Say No to Strangers, which was aired on national TV back in the 1980s. I'm just about old enough to remember that. Lely has another white telephone box just like the one in Sprotley, and Nikki did the honours of checking whether or not it had a dial tone. I can confirm it did. 
if you're wondering if there are any book exchanges around here, stay tuned because you'll soon see. We didn't find a parish notice board in Elstromwick, so it's a good job we left a card here on this board in Lely. The rest of the walk around this village consists mainly of some charming rural properties. Out onto Humbleton Road we come to a bench which shows a logo with the names of all three villages in Elstromwick Parish, Lely, Elstromwick and Danthorpe. The bench was made for the millennium. This is the Stag's Head. The building originates from the 19th century and by 1855 it had a full license to sell ale. By 1909 the Hull Brewery had acquired the property. I often wonder how pubs like these survive. So we've just been having a nice little conversation about how pubs like the Stag's Head still stay in business. Now Nicky used to live in Buckinghamshire um, in a place called, uh, what was it called? The Lee. The Lee. And there's a pub there where most of the, the regulars came from other villages and I imagine it's the same here in Lely because there are yeah. plenty of uh, plenty of other villages. yeah plenty of other little surrounding villages where Here's people will come from to come to the pub. You. So the, the village where I used to live in the electricity was on on three phases for the village. The pub was on one, most of the village was on the second, and a very small part of the village was on the third phase. And when phase two decided that it was going to cut, so that there was a power cut, everybody from the village used to come into the pub because the electricity was on. And I'd be like, who are you? Because we never used to see the actual people, the locals, very few of the people who lived in the village. Because people came from far away and we had the passing trade and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> it's probably the same out here. Heading for Elstromwick via Mill Lane, we pass an old windmill next. This is Lely Mill, built in 1790 to mill corn. It retains a full set of original milling machinery. Now Grade 2 listed, it encapsulates the impact of the Industrial Revolution on small-scale rural industry in Yorkshire. It was one of 284 sites added to the National Heritage List for England in 2021. Now we're in Elstromwick, so let's have a walk around this place. This is the main village, and we begin at the Parish Church of St Lawrence on Front Lane, which is designated a Grade 2 listed building. St Lawrence's was originally built as a medieval chapel of ease at an unknown date sometime before 1324 and it was dedicated to St Lawrence by 1386. It was extensively rebuilt and remodelled in 1791. The church is one of two buildings which is still referred to as being in Elstonwick. When the deeds of St Lawrence Church and the Methodist Church, which we'll come to in a while, were drawn up, the village was still known as Elstonwick. Therefore, the names of both churches included this spelling and continued to be referred to as such. The two buildings form a group together with St Peter's Church at nearby Humbleton. Turning right out of the churchyard might appear on the map to be daft. It's a dead end. However, there is a small bridge over Southfield Drain. This is the same drain that runs through Burstwick after it changes its name. The end of the path brings us to the entrance to Danthorpe, which is listed in the Doomsday Book as Danethorpe. Its most impressive building is the 17th century Danthorpe Hall. We're going the other way though. So this is a very strung out place. It's very no, much... No, no, it's not strung out, it's elongated. All right then, elongated. <laughs> strung out means something totally different. Does it? Yeah. All right then, what does strung out then mean? Come on. It's an um, American reference in regards to drug use. You don't that's, want that on the channel. That's the first time I've ever heard that. I've used the word strung out to mean elongated for, I don't know, ages, haven't I? Oh. Haven't I? Please back me up in the comments, I'm sure I have. Anyway, whether you want to call it strung out or elongated, this is certainly one of those places and most of the roads here look like this with no houses or properties or anything on either side of the road so for a, a quite a while on this walk we'll be walking around with, okay. with this kind of view which is nice in one way because it means we just get the the um the sights and the sounds of the countryside with no one bothering us i suppose but when we get the sunshine 
We get the trees and the noises of nature and the breeze that comes through and the smell of cow milk. I think you've just pretty much typified the East Riding in one sentence there, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Elstromwick and Danthorpe share what few village amenities there are out here, including a small playing field. This has a reasonable amount of space and there's some good quality play equipment. Nikki also tried out this bench which is built from stone and brick, a very unusual seat let's say, although probably a darn sight more comfortable than where I was about to find myself. I have been dared by the wife to go down this slide. Get on with it then. Well I ain't got much choice now have I? <laughs> just, just so you know, this is not a regular occurrence. I, I know I do the adventure trails uh, all the yeah, time. Of course it's not a regular occurrence. Who would hold the camera? That's a good point. I'm not making a habit of this is all I'm going to say. <laughs> and there he goes. TVI in his unnatural habitat. Unnatural, yeah. He's making all sorts of noises as he goes. And he's at the top of the slide. He's got his legs out. And... Oh, I've got a fat ass. <laughs> he's got a fat bum. And there he goes. I to do that. <laughs> Thank God that's over. This bus shelter serves as the village's book exchange. There are two chests of drawers in this shelter which are brimmed with books as well as there being quite a few on top of them. We left a card in here too. Look what Nicky's found. Yeah, it's not cross stitch, it's needle craft. And yeah, it's needlework though, Nicky, come on. You like needlework, yeah. or whether it's cross stitch, well, it's needle, cross -stitch yeah, any kind of needlework, you like it. Yeah. And here we find Nicky in a natural habitat, <laughs> looking through a cross stitch book. I guess paybacks, you know, Yes, it is, it is. <laughs> After a few more paces to the west, we come across the Grade 2 listed Elstromwick Hall, situated in around four acres of grazing and mowing land with pony paddocks. It dates from the mid 18th century and was extended in the late 19th. Elstromwick is primarily a farming village, so it's no surprise there are plenty of farm buildings in and around it. On the wall of one of these is the village's defib machine, reminding me of Wildsworth in West Lindsay. There's a beacon on Front Lane. This was lit this year to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Elstromwick Parish Council staged an afternoon tea event as well as the beacon lighting. Every village, be it large or small, once had a blacksmith's. You've heard me say that before now, haven't you? The penultimate landmark on the main walk around sees us past the smithy here in Elstromwick. There's also the aforementioned Elsternwick Primitive Methodist Chapel, which dates from 1853. Now, apparently, this is still open, and since the removal of the pews a few years ago, it's been used as a community space too. So Nicky just spotted this little egg stall, a pounder box apparently. There's only one problem with them. There aren't any. Never mind. We can't have eggs for tea now, Nicky. Unfortunately. No. Next time maybe. Okay, we are pretty much all the way around this very strung out slash elongated village called Elstromwick here in the East Riding of Yorkshire, which means it's time for you guys to have today's picture bit.
And there you have it. That's another one down in the East Riding of Yorkshire. That one was quite difficult, quite a, uh, a long walk. How long did, did you think that one took us? About an hour. An hour? Yeah. I think it was as long as that. Let's, che know, let's check the Strava. I, I, I'm thinking between Lely and this one about an hour. 35 minutes to walk around Elstromwick. Uh, Lely was about 12, so 47-ish. Yeah, and then travelling between the two, wasn't Yeah. It? And the, yeah, the mill, I suppose. Yeah, the mill. Yeah, so a tough one, uh, but thankfully the next one is not quite as tough. It's a bit bigger yeah. than this. They only get bigger from here on in, in this uh, little trip. Better not do, because <laughs> you said to me this one was going to be the hardest one of the day. It is, because it's so strung out. Or should I say elongated? <laughs> right, any more that it's going to take as long as this does for it. <laughs> well that's me told isn't it i tell you this is going to be one hilarious episode with all the things we've done today it's quite ridiculous well yeah i suppose yeah but anyway we'll just get on with the next one let's yeah. try and get some under our belt because uh, we have plans for today we do which involve the sea fish and chips and two-piece lots because we're not far from the coast anyway time for me to go this has been elstromwick and i've been andy also known as the village idiot and i'm out